Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about analog electronics. And you can find the master index here. And uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about a tool that you'll use a lot while you're experimenting around with electronics. And that is called, uh, this is called a breadboard. And a breadboard is a device that allows you to very quickly connect your chips and resistors and capacitors and inductors and all that together um, without having to solder. And basically what it is, let's switch over to the overhead, is a uh, bunch of holes in a piece of plastic here. And you can plug your uh, devices into it just by inserting them into the holes. And we'll just do one more here. Okay, so there we go. I've got three, or yeah, three devices on there. Uh, two chips and a resistor. And let's talk about how things are connected together in here. I've peeled away the plastic a little bit on the back to show what's going on. And what you have are metal strips embedded into the plastic like this and also metal strips along the sides that run like that. So what I have here is if I have a pin connected into a hole here, everything in this row, get centered up there again, everything in this row is connected to it. So if I push a wire in here, that is connected to this pin right there. I'm aiming right here, I can't see actually. Um, so if I want to connect the two pins here, the one on the corner here to the one on the corner there, this is connecting them. Um, and uh, so then some finer points of breadboards are that they are typically used for smaller uh, currents. You don't want to be uh, putting a lot of current through it or you end up with, uh, and this is, this is the breadboard that I started with um, once I got serious about electronics. And you can see that I have indicated certain areas where something is wrong with it. And that's probably because either I ran too much current through it, which maybe melted the plastic and allowed it to not grip parts very well anymore, or I tried pushing something just too fat into there and I bent the, uh, the metal. Um, so don't, don't use this for higher current and I couldn't really give you a value. I've never actually tested it, but I would say probably if you go over a half an amp, that's probably not so good. Um, also, uh, breadboards sort of fail when you uh, get to higher frequencies. Uh, they tend to uh, just cause problems with your circuit where uh, maybe you're getting something called crosstalk between different rows or uh, you're getting uh, unexpected ringing in your signal or things like that. Um, so. If you're going into higher frequencies, like you wouldn't want to prototype something that's running at 100 megahertz on here, I don't think. Um, it'd be better to just start off with a point-to-point uh, -point wired board or uh, a circuit board. Um, just go straight to a circuit board. Uh, one final thought about breadboards that I've seen uh, new engineers doing is that this is not a way to present a, uh, a uh, final, you know, the final result of a project you've been working on. Um, it, is, it looks extremely sloppy to have a bunch of wires just sticking out all over the place. Um, and, uh, you know, you can kind of see as I've just got two wires there, that doesn't look very nice. Um, and imagine, you know, any real project's going to have you know, hundreds of wires. You know, it just starts looking sloppy and it also gets very confusing for you as you're working on it. Um, 
if your project's getting very complex, it's time to move on to a circuit board or at least a point-to-point -point wired perf board. Um, also, you're kind of courting Murphy's Law uh, by each one of these wires, if it just wiggles to a little bit where there's corrosion on any of those contacts, your circuit might start misbehaving. So, breadboards are great for prototyping simple circuits. Uh, let's say you have a sensor that you want to uh, try playing around with. A breadboard is a great way to make sure that you have your head screwed on straight and uh, uh, you actually understand how that works. But uh, it is nothing. You would never, ever take you know, a, a breadboard like this, put it in a box, and leave it out in the field. That's just going to be very bad for you. Uh, you know, vibration will cause wires to come loose over time. Corrosion will get you. Um, so don't ever uh, professionally submit anything on a breadboard. Um, but other than that, uh, <laughs> there you go. That's breadboards. I've said lots of bad about them, but they are just great for uh, prototyping things. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please uh, check out my other videos.